Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've got this hard drive here without an enclosure. I don't really have any extra enclosures right now, but I need to get to the data on the hard drive. Uh, so I can either buy an enclosure just to, you know, connect to it once, or uh, I can, you know, I guess put it into a desktop computer and, and connect it. It's a, it's a SATA drive, um, SATA, however you pronounce it. Uh, so what I need is this. Eh, check that out. What this happens to be, it looks kind of like a toaster of sorts. It is this, the Nexstar hard drive dock. And all I need to do is once I've you know plugged it into a power source and then plugged it in by USB to a computer, Mac or PC, uh, I can, uh, let's see here, slide in the hard drive. Until I, I hear the clicking here. There we go. Should be situated. And see, it's even got a little ejecty button on the side. It pops up, you know, so I know it's in there. It should be in there. Feels firm. It's got a, some amount of give. Now, what I'm going to do, I've got it connected right now to my iMac here. I'm going to press the power button. Turns on. I can hear the hard drive spinning up. And now I'm going to look here at uh, my Mac. My Mac. That is using VMware Fusion. Did you hear it go doo doo? That that I used that. Uh, I'm using VMware Fusion, so you can hear the USB device connecting, installing device driver software. Seems like it's working just fine, at least in VMware Fusion. Detected it right away, and it, you don't really need to install any drivers. I mean, it's just a hard drive, and there you go. Yep, searching for pre-configured drivers. WDC WD15. Yeah, ready to use picked it out. Wow. That is just amazing. So let me disconnect that. So I'll disconnect it from the VMware Fusion box. Okay. And now we'll reconnect it again. It's just fun to hear it go da doom da doom da doom da doom So now it's connected here. I should be able to read the data on there, assuming it's been, you know, formatted for that particular OS. I believe it has. Let's see here. Let's minimize. We've opened up my computer, which is just kind of odd. I mean, I'm plugging it into an iMac, but you know, that's the beauty of, uh, you know, VMware Fusion is that I can run Windows from, you know, well within uh, another operating system. This case being uh, Mac OS X. So wow, that was kind of almost too easy. Like it should be, shouldn't it be like way more complicated than that? Like, you know, shouldn't I have to like do something else? No, I, I, I don't. That's, that's kind of nice. I gotta admit, that's very nice. All right, let me unplug it. I'm just, I'm seeing if I can really mess it up, but I can't. And I know what you're thinking. I just, I was using USB. The nice thing about this particular unit is, yes, this is a SATA hard drive, and it even comes with an eSATA cable. So if you've got an eSATA port, an ex external SATA, then you can connect the uh, the drive that way. Or it also comes with, uh, you know, something that can go into an empty slot on the back of your machine and then plug into an empty SATA port on your motherboard. Wow, that was, you know, e exceedingly simple. I, I'm seriously amazed. It can't be that. It can't. Spinning down, shutting down. She's off. Now, where's my wrist strap? I gotta ground myself so that I'm not gonna, you know, ruin the data on the hard drive. Press eject. And that was it. And, and the nice thing is, is that it'll accommodate uh, both. Uh, well, let's see here. Yeah, right. Up, I think it says. Hang on. Let me just verify here. I'm confident it will. Yeah, two and a half or three and a half inch SATA drives. And right there, you can see the little flap here on the top. Like I said, it's like a toaster of sorts. Let's see here. Yep, plug and play. Add storage to any system with USB or eSATA. Support SATA up to a terabyte. Eject button. You saw that. Simple to use. Easy. Blue LED. Hard drive activity light. Transfer rates with USB or SATA or, you know, or eSATA. Just, you know, what you'd come to expect. Um... 
Yeah. But the only thing I think is, is I guess, a, a negative, if I if I had to point out a negative, uh, is the fact that the power supply is external. I, I kind of wish it, you know, was, you know, on the unit itself. It would just save desktop space. To me, at least, that would make the most amount of sense. Now I've got this extra cable dangling, uh, but, you know, on the back there's the USB, there's the SATA port, and um, wow, that was uh, very nice. From Vantech. I picked this up from thinkgeek.com. You know, I, I have uh, plenty of friends over there, and uh, the primary reason why is because I needed to get the data on this hard drive, or I wanted to check to verify that the data on this hard drive was either there or gone. I mean, it doesn't matter. You've got all these extra hard drives. Do you really want to install them inside a computer every time you need to access the data, or inside an enclosure every time you need to access the data? Might as well use one of these things. I mean, I wouldn't use it for permanent transfer, I would, you know, use it for temporary transfer or just checking, you, you know. It's like one of those things that you always know you need, but you don't realize you need it until after it's too late. So thank you, thinkgeek.com, for making this available. Uh, I did pick this up with my own money, and uh, for the reason, because I had, you know, information on these uh, external, or I guess internal hard drives, external from any kind of computer, and I needed to get to the data. So there you go. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Feel free to drop me a line. Maybe you know of something similar uh, to help you work with uh, my peripherals that were, or I guess, well, I guess internal the devices that were meant to stay internal. When they may be external, how do you get to the uh, features or functionality of that particular device? Let me know. And you're also welcome to stop by the chat room. We're typically talking tech, hardware, software, servers. You, you never really know. Really, we're just a bunch of geeks. I've got this live video feed. I'm streaming my life online. I've had these boxes sitting on my desk for the past couple of days because I've been just busy, busy, busy with a variety of things. Uh, but you're more than welcome to stop by. Uh, chat it up with uh, a bunch of uh, other people who are probably like you uh, if you are someone who considers yourself geeky in nature uh, or geeky nurture. I don't know, it's the whole nature versus nurture art. Can you really nurture a geek, or is it just nature for you to be a geek? I mean, you pre at birth, is it decided that you will be a geek? Is it, is it really, like, because you get excited when you see things like this? I do, but I don't have much of a life. And you can see me streaming the not much of my life online, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, in conjunction with the chat room at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.